Hey, what up guys? To Neko here, also known as Cursed Gamer, and today I want to show you how you sold the first part of the Crotus and Raid Cope, the Abyss with the Hunter class. Well, actually, it's called the Traverse of the Abyss, I think, but whatever. First of all, you need to equip your Hunter subclass Blade Dancer. The next thing you want to check is that you have already skilled it to the point where you get the perk Shadow Jack. This perk will increase the duration of all your invisibility effects. Um, if you take a closer look on the Blade Dancer skill tree, you will probably see another perk called Vanish. It's one of the last to unlock in this subclass and it allows you to make yourself invisible by using your super. Um, it helps a lot, like it helps a lot at the end, like when you have to wait for the bridge to build up, but even without having this perk, it's totally doable. Last but not least, there is Escape Artist. I highly recommend this one if you want to successfully solo this part. By hitting an enemy with your melee attack, it will grant you a long ass invisible effect. You can almost take a fucking shit on the next lamp, really. So the three abilities you really need is Stalker to get invis by crouching, Escape Artist to get your invisibility after melee attack in, and Shadow Jack to increase the duration of all these. Um. There's also an exotic sniper rifle called Patience in Time, which gives you a brief invisibility by aiming the gun, and some exotic hands called Don't Touch Me, which give you a short invisibility after getting hit by an enemy with a melee attack, I think. Yeah, with a melee attack. And, well, they help a lot. They can buy you some time if, you, if your timing is not right. But even without these goodies, it's pretty damn fucking easy to solo this part. Um, you'll probably find yourself having more trouble soloing a Nightfall than doing this here. So let's take a look. We start at the crouch, get our invis, and run straight to the first lamp. Wait for your debuff to wear off, jump on top of it, crouch again. In this, yeah, here we go. And now you run straight to the third lamp. Don't fucking bother with the second one. It's a complete waste of time. Just run to this, to the third one. Supercharged, nice. In this one. That, that was a close call. <laughs> oh god. On the lamps, make sure they are always in between you and the enemy, so the the thralls have to run around it to land a hit on you. This will buy you some seconds here and there. Um, yeah, and this land and for this land, and you just we just skip this one. You just run straight up the hill. We need to be fast as shit, so we we skip this lantern. We'll have a little break here. Invis and go go. <laughs> What's with this one? What's with this guy? He's like totally lost. Uh, he's like, where the fuck do I go? Shit! It's so fucking dark, I can't see the damn fucking thing down here. <clears throat> Yeah, super's ready. Oh, I hear a lot of shit coming towards us. Okay, now we are using our escape artist. Nice. If it's getting hairy, you can always use your super. Just feel free to use your super. You don't really need the super at the end, like at the bridge. Um, so if you if you feel like okay, probably I'm getting gang raped here. Um, just pop your super in, so it will save your ass. Um, I have also the Don't Touch Me hands equipped, so if, like, yeah. Now, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I could have used my super here instead, but okay, I have the hands equipped, the exotic hands that gave me a brief invisibility when I got hit by an enemy, but, um, you can totally do this without these hands though they're they're not necessarily needed to do this it's, it's totally easy even without them uh, come on come on 
Well, nothing on the radar. Okay. Stay in your fucking hole! This is Sparta! What the fuck was with this guy? I, I, maybe he was taking a shit there, I think. Like, like uh, go away, leave me alone. I'm taking a high shit here. Just go away and let me take my shit. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he took a high shit there. Whatever. On this lamp, you, um, you get rid of your debuff. Until it's completely gone. And then you move to the last lamp. On the last lamp, you'll do the same. You will totally get rid of your debuff. <clears throat> Jump on top of the lamp and wait for it to get red. So the thralls in the area will gang on this lamp. You'll get in this. Go away from the lamp and see them explode. Like, BAM! There they go. As you can see, we are hiding uh, on one of the two rocks right beneath the bridge. Um, I prefer this rock here, but you can also take the other one to my right. Um, the thralls won't see you. The explorer, yeah, this explorer there who climb up the ledge will see you and then you go pop your super or pop your escape artist and then run straight to the rock in the far left. This is basically your safe spot. Nothing will see you here. <clears throat> All the thralls will gang on the rock where you hide it before, like the rock on the, the bridge. And this is a total safe spot. You can just wait here till the bridge is fully built. I think. Am I tripping or is there a fucking thrall coming? I am not sure about. Fuck this game. What is he doing there? Oh, yeah, go away. Well, fuck me. Okay, popping the escape artist. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Thank God. Get up the bridge, you stupid shit. Well. That's the first part. Uh, of the Crota end raid, Crota's end raid. Um, pretty damn easy with a hunter. Uh, the next part comes soon, so I hope you enjoyed this guide. I hope uh, it helps you to do this on your own. And yeah, see you next time. <laughs> Kaya <laughs> <laughs>